a slaughterhouse. Oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 horror comedy Slaughterhouse. The film is directed by Matthew Goodhue and it stars Lisa, and I know I am not going to get this name right, but I shall try, Anne Balavana, um, as well as Olivia Raw and Sidney Craven. Now, the film focuses on a character called Emily. She's in her final senior year and she wants to run for the sorority president. Uh, but she's up against the most popular girl in the sorority, the rich girl. Um, so she needs an edge. So what she does is essentially kidnaps a sloth that she thinks will give her the edge as it will be like the house mascot. Everyone will fall in love with this cute and cuddly little creature, which they do. What they don't realise is that this cute looking sloth is in actual fact a homicidal maniac and um, has every intention of murdering everybody within the sorority. Right, what are my thoughts on Slother House? Well, just that description alone should tell you what to expect from this film and complete and utter stupidity should be right at the top of that list. Um, if you're going into this film thinking that you're getting highbrow entertainment, then you're definitely putting on the wrong film. Um, this is one of those crazy concepts, you know, like zombie sharks and, you know, zombie badges or whatever they've put out there in, in the B-movie, you know, um, arena these days. This is one of those that's supposed to fit in that category, a film that is just so stupid beyond belief, but might be a bit of fun to watch. And the concept itself is certainly fun. Um, it's a film that you cannot even remotely take seriously. And that is the point, I suppose. Um, we have here a sloth that is taken out of its natural habitat. We're not given any reason as to why this sloth is murderous and homicidal and has the IQ of Stephen Hawkins, uh, the sloth version of Stephen Hawkins, I suppose. Um, it's not as if it's been experimented on, it's mutated, there's nothing like that. It's just been taken out of its natural habitat um, and gets ends up in the hands of this sorority girl, Emily, who wants to get an edge in becoming the class president or the sorority president and there is the concept um, however it doesn't take too kindly to a people rejecting it uh, b people rejecting emily or c people breathing basically around it um, and it will literally um, go claw happy on anything and everybody however the sloth is quite clearly the most intelligent creature within that sorority house um, because nobody else has got a brain cell between them, clearly. Because there is sorority girls getting, you know, cut up and slaughtered left, right and centre. And other than a passing mention on the night of the voting for the class president or the sorority president, I, I think nine days has passed and it's murdered by, I, I didn't count, but it's murdered, let's be generous, at least half a dozen people, girls sorority girls um you know splattered blood all over the walls and nobody seems to wonder where anybody is or wonder where any of this blood and stuff has come from now i'm i don't mind watching a silly film that asks me to kind of suspend my disbelief somewhat but this takes it to a whole new level of suspending your disbelief um it's Honestly, it's a genius, is this creature. And not only can it clean up dead bodies very, very carefully and tidily, but it can also use laptops and drive cars. Just let that sink in a minute. And that is the level of idiosity, idiosity that we're dealing with here in this film. Um, the, you could forgive a lot in a film like this. It's meant to be a horror comedy. It's meant to be stupid. It's meant to be unbelievable in many, many ways. This does take it to a whole new level, I, as I've said. 
you could forgive a lot if the film actually delivered on the kills. Now, they haven't. What they've, they've gone for a PG-13 rating here. So it is tame beyond belief. It doesn't show anything. You know, you see it attack someone and then the screen goes black and then it moves on to um, the next scene. So you know the character's been killed, but you've seen nothing. So you don't even get the fun of seeing these creative kills happen. Um, there's no fun to be had with this film in the horror side of it. Horror comedy. You have to deliver on both. This film delivers on stupidity, stroke comedy, even though it's not funny. But there's no horror here. Um, it's, it's not even fun to watch the kills. And don't even get me started on the characters in this film because they are um, boring, generic, imbeciles. And there is nobody to root for, so therefore you spend much of the film hoping and praying that much of the, much of the cast members are going to get sliced and diced by this genius sloth. Um, and the main character, Emily, who we're supposed to get behind, is about as dull as dishwater. And how could you get behind a character that is using a creature from that has clearly been taken out of cap, you know, taken out of its natural habitat um, for her own advantage and her own gain? Even though the film does a really clumsy attempt at saying that's not what you should be doing with these creatures, very clumsy attempt at doing it. Uh, and even the girl that you know, forces that message home, she ends up getting sliced and diced as well by this bloody creature because it smothers her with a pillow. I know I'm giving some mild spoilers away here, guys, but I just want to try and get across here how imbecilic, ridiculous, and just downright stupid this film is, really. Um, so you can't enjoy the kills... The characters are really, really horrible, dull, generic, or just damn right irritating. Um, the only thing this film has got going for it are the production values, which are decent. The effects for the sloth, which is not CGI, it's like Puppet. Which is fun, I suppose. It looks fun. It looks cute when it's supposed to look cute. Uh, I suppose it's just really odd. It's like a throwback from the 80s. Um, it, but without any of the real talent behind it really but it's got good production values it's highly polished surprisingly so actually it's just nothing else is going for it for me, in, in my opinion so unless you want to watch a killer sloth with your mates and crack open a few beers and order a pizza in that this might be the perfect night for you and your mates but other than that just don't bother with this one because it is not an entertaining film really and there's not an awful lot to recommend about it so thanks very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this review if you did please click the like button if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and i will be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very very soon